Welcome to Health Source of Irmo, South Carolina. Today's topic, what happens during a spinal decompression session? It seems that you can barely turn on the television or radio without hearing about the new NASA-discovered back pain ending therapy known as spinal decompression. For individuals who suffer from chronic back pain, the idea of a non-surgical process that can help eliminate their pain is very appealing. Just what goes on during such treatments remains a mystery when listening to the advertisements. Here's a simple breakdown of the process. Evaluation comes before treatment. Usually carried out at a chiropractic office, a preliminary evaluation of your physical condition and the source of your pain must be completed. While in most cases decompression therapy is in no way harmful, it can be problematic for those with osteoporosis or spinal fractures. Range of motion will be evaluated and pain levels measured and overall condition determined. You and your practitioner will determine an appropriate course of treatment and goals for your therapy. The treatment itself. Your treatment will usually begin with some preparatory work. This usually involves massage, heat, or cold packs, or some supervised stretching and warming of the muscles in the area that will be under traction. You will be assisted onto the decompression machine, and the straps that hold your chest and legs to the machine will be fastened. The decompression table will be set to perform the program that you and your practitioner discussed. Once the treatment begins, your practitioner may opt to go treat other patients while checking up on you from time to time. After your treatment on the table is complete, you may be asked to do some additional exercises and spend some time with ice packs. What happens after the treatment? One treatment is not enough to ease back pain. The course that you and your practitioner have determined will no doubt contain several treatments over a number of weeks. The first few weeks you may be in the office as often as three times a week. It can take several weeks before you feel a marked improvement of your symptoms. As your condition improves, you may decrease your visits, and eventually one hopes that you will only be coming in for maintenance appointments. Payment Concerns and Other Information Unfortunately, insurance companies rarely pay for non-surgical decompression treatments. The price of such therapy ranges from as little as $35 per session to $200 per session, depending upon the practitioner, the locale, and other incalculable factors. It isn't improbable that you would need to experience 20 treatments for significant relief of your symptoms. That is a large investment, but before you consider surgical options, it's well worth your time and money to consider. Each treatment session will take between 45 to 90 minutes. The length of the session will depend on a number of factors, including but not limited to warm-up before your table time, the time on the table, and exercises and icing afterwards. For many people, non-surgical spinal decompression offers a less invasive, successful end to back pain associated with bulging or herniated discs, sciatica, and other lumbar problems. If you are among those who suffer needlessly, consider a consultation with your local practitioner and see what they can do for you. To find out more information on topics like this, please go to www.healthsourceofermo.com.